Thank you, Mark Wisman from uh, Porsche North America, and we're here at um, Willow Springs in uh, California testing the new 911 Carrera GTS. Yes. So, 911, like 50 years of uh, fabulous cars and always evolving, right? Right, right. That's the key to uh, keep the heritage but make the car better and better in terms of performance, in terms of everyday usability, and uh, create the overall package. Um, to get the maximum out of the car in every situation, you know, every driving situation should be a pleasure. Okay, let's go on uh, for a ride here now. Uh, yeah, safety first. Thanks. Tell us a little bit about like that. As we were saying, 911, 50 years of history. There are like many variants of this car, and why other variants? Well, the GTS is our middle ground, if you want to call it that. It's the next step beyond the regular Carrera and Carrera S, um, but retains their everyday usability without going to the all-out raw performance that the 911 GT3 offers. So the key was to increase the agility, give you an even better handling car, um, give you more performance, and retain the everyday street ability of the regular Carrera S, because you're not making any sacrifices in terms of comfort yeah. or everyday usability with the GTS, but you are getting more performance. So uh, as we can see the interior, the interior is as beautiful as all the other uh, Porsches. I mean, Alcantara um, leather here on the steering wheel, like all the streamings, like it's, it's yes. still a luxury car, but like performance wise, it's, performance. it's, it's pretty good. Huh? Yes, Alcantara is, um, is our performance upholstery, if you will. Um, it's, it hugs you, you don't slide around, and it's also lighter than leather. Oh really? So I didn't know that. Yes. So oh. there's even a small but uh, performance gain from that. It's small but it's there. So uh, like in every other detailing in Porsche, every single thing has like a fun fun purpose. And form, right? A purpose. It's um, obviously we love to make the car look good, but we're always looking for functionality. If if that design element can make the car perform better and make it more efficient in any possible way, we do strive to achieve that. And uh, what about, let's talk about the specific uh, engineer about the car, the engine, the suspension. What, what's different from the regular 911? The obvious uh, increase in power is the 30 horsepower upgrade. Uh, so this one has? This one has 430 horsepower as opposed to 400 in the regular Carrera S. That was gained by the uh, intake system, which is variable. So it channels the air through uh, different pipes. Yeah. The, the uh, flaps vary the length, so depending on whether you want to produce more torque or have the engine breathe more freely in the higher RPM range, it adjusts for that. Uh, along with that comes uh, different camshafts, different valve springs, and uh, the sport exhaust system, which actually has a different tune than the sport exhaust system available for the regular Carrera as the flaps open at 3100 RPM and is that proprietary so, technology from uh, Porsche? It's like something that was uh, invented by Porsche and it's like exclusive to it? Uh, well, a lot of manufacturers use flaps uh, the exhaust. To, no, not the exhaust and the um, intake. To the, uh, the intake, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's a system that uh, our engineers developed specifically for this engine to improve the breathing and uh, retain the torque of the regular Carrera S because the regular Carrera S has the same 3.8 liter engine, uh, a lot of torque, um, but to improve the power, performance, and free revving capability in the high RPM range. So you're not, usually when you um, fine tune a performance engine to give it more power in the high RPM range, you're sacrificing some torque. Okay, and, this, yeah. and this system allows us to retain the torque of the regular engine, so you still have this, like we're doing right now, accelerating from low RPMs, get up and go there. Um, but then when you grab the engine like that, there's more power of it. Absolutely. And so 400, it's the best of, best of, best of everything, yeah. And I, I mean, my, the other point always with Porsche is that uh, 430 horsepower, I mean, now like Dodge is, has a car like 707 horsepower. Right. You don't have to have that much power with the engineering is that done with that precision to, to extract every single piece of, uh, of power exactly. of the engine, right? I mean, if, um, you, and that's what we've been about for, for many years. Is, um, horsepower on a piece of paper doesn't do you any good <laughs> if you can't put it down onto the road. Yeah. And um, we offer the car with a rear wheel drive and a four wheel drive as we do many of our other Carrera variants. Um, the rear wheel drive car already due to the fact that the engine is obviously at the back has great traction and then if you're a customer that's looking to buy a car to use in winter conditions um, you want the maximum amount of safety in the rain 
what rated the PDK launch control is. And it shows you how, how it brings all the power is, like it really puts in an efficient all the power way. In an efficient uh, way, maximizing performance. Yeah. The other thing is PDK. I mean, uh, you still offer manual tra transmission cars, but like nothing can beat a PDK, huh? Right. It's, uh, we do still offer the manual on these cars. Uh, we've actually improved uh, the geometry of the shift linkage for a even more precise, crisp throw when you're shifting gears. Even more, because it was like when, when it came out. When was it? Like five, six years ago? The, uh, the current, PDK. Current, the PDK. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that was. I mean, the most it was perfection. So yes. if you're making perfect even better right. that's what but, you're saying right but so you've you've um you've been able to sample the manual transmission yeah, this morning. which is I great think, too i think you can attest to the fact that it feels it feels great you can feel the optimized geometry that our engineers work very 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 hard on um but yeah pdk the software strategy if you have it in sport plus and you're on the track you don't need the paddles the system is so intuitive in terms of um, registering cornering, registering braking, registering acceleration, it down and upshifts exactly when you want it to. And you can keep both hands on when the wheel. When the car needs it more than when you need to. I mean, like more than, than when you want to. Because that's like the, the, the computer analyzing every millisecond of uh, every, what it's happening. Every angle right? of pitch and every degree of exertion that you're putting on the car with, with the throttle of the brakes, it analyzes that to give you the best possible shift pattern so that you can keep both hands on the wheel and maximize the handling and performance. Yeah, get the most but, out of the car. Yeah, but still, the, the manual transmission, it's fun. I mean, and for some people, I think there's always going to be, hopefully, right? Like some people who are going to still enjoy doing that. Yeah, I mean, uh, the fact of the matter is that the large majority of our customers does opt for the PDK due to its increased performance and efficiency. And it's also more comfortable because these cars, as you've seen, are very, very drivable on road. It's not a stiff performance car that's only here no, on the track. Yeah. You can drive to work in this car. You can drive on a road trip in this car. And um, it's just nicer when you're sitting in traffic or you're just cruising around to have that PDK. Yes, we do still offer the manual, um, but PDK is, is the way of the future. And also all the other technology like stop and go, like when the engine the start, stop, stop, start yes, stop, I'm sorry. And, uh, coasting function. The seventh gear acts as an overdrive in both transmissions to bring the revs down and increase fuel consumption. The car is very, very efficient when you're just cruising down the road and that's that's another um, of our strong suits. That's all part of our Porsche Intelligent Performance Strategy that um, we're trying to prove with every car that efficiency and performance are not mutually exclusive but go hand in hand. When you make a car more efficient, you can actually make it faster at the same yeah. time and vice versa. So. Yeah, we're, we, we are seeing that even in Formula One. Like now they have pretty much hybrid car, probably power trains, right? System. Exactly. I mean, it's, exactly. it's more or less like what I'm saying, this is not a hybrid, of course, but like right. we were saying, like efficient can be still very fun. Right. I think the GTS is, is a perfect example of a huge spread that's possible in the 911 having so many different characters, if you want to call it that, in one car. Yeah. And the GTS, uh, let's say, philosophy engineering, it's, it's spread into other models in Porsche, right? Yes. Um, we have the Panamera GTS, obviously. Um, we have uh, introduced the Boxster and Cayman GTS this year, applying that same principle of tighter suspension, a little bit more power, unique styling cues. And this has now spread to the 911. Uh, we offer four variants of the GTS and the 911, uh, two coupes and two cabriolets, two and four wheel drive. And uh, at the LA Auto Show, we just released the press kit. Um, we'll be showing the Cayenne GTS. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about uh, the value of this car because, I mean, if you go up onto the 911 Turbo S, you're talking about like a couple hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah, that car starts at around $180,000, yeah. the Turbo S. Um, our customers uh, see the value in that car because that no, Turbo... Yeah, I'm not saying it's not worth it, I'm just saying it's what it is. It, it, yeah, it's expensive, but it happens to be our, yeah. our best-selling model. Um, which, which tells you a lot about what, which, the, 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 how the appreciation that people have for that Exactly. Car. Is it a lot of money? Yes. But uh, at the end so of the relative. day, the people... Our customers, uh, they see the value in the fact that it's an all-wheel drive, streetable, high-performance car with enough comfort to go on a 1,000-mile road trip. So it, it encompasses so many good traits beyond that of just a sports car that they're willing um, to pay that price, which we think actually
actually, given the spread of the car, is still reasonable. Yeah. Um, the GTS is uh, traditionally not just a higher performance car uh, with a completely retained us uh, everyday usability that's characteristic of a Porsche, but it's also a value proposition because this car has uh, several options, the Sport Chrono package, uh, center lock wheels, which you cannot get on the regular Carrera S. Okay. They're usually exclusive to the GT3s and turbos. Um, the performance kit with the sport exhaust, uh, power kit. So when you put all of these options in a regular Carrera S, uh, it's actually more expensive than the GTS. So the GTS is a value proposition for customers that are looking to get into a higher end Carrera S or Carrera 4S. Um, and over the years we've discovered that several of these options they're going to order anyways. So to increase the performance of the car, we put those into it. Make it is almost standard, right? right. Like, well, that's right. what really people want. Right. So we're going to go we're here with Mark Weisman from Porsche North America and enjoy the drive in the desert in California and going to Willow Springs to drive on the track. So thank you very much, Mark, for the, your time and all the thank information. You, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go out to the track and enjoy this time. Sounds good. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.